Hello Sagittarius, this is your girl Aqua Goddess, coming to give you all your bonus read. Congratulations and thank you so much for the love and support. You guys won first place Zodiac Sun Sign Contest. I do want to let you know um, that this reading will be for past, present, future, and it may or may not resonate with you. If you're interested in booking a personal reading, you want to see me use any specific card deck, donate to the channel, purchase any manifestation jewelry, anything like that, the information will be in the description box below. Okay? Um, I've already prayed and meditated over your energy, so we're just going to go ahead and tap right in. Make sure you guys like and subscribe to the channel to help our family grow and also to receive your notifications for your future reads. Spirit, angels, ancestors, guides, please protect me while channeling the messages for the sign of Sagittarius. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, north note. Please return all negative energy back to sender 10 million fold. And anybody out there showing me love, much love and light to you. Spirit, what are the questions that we have for, I mean, not the questions. Damn, you guys probably got some questions or somebody got some questions for you. But what is the information that I need to share with Sag? Okay. Angel number 2323. You will be able to easily find spiritual progress and spiritual enlightenment in your life. I also see tunnel vision here. But I'm also showing, Sag, um, that you could have somebody a little bit timid right now. This is definitely somebody that you've kicked it with before. Because I'm saying, I bet you, I'm saying, I bet I make you come the fastest. So y'all definitely didn't have sex before. This person is very timid with you. Okay. Could be a truck driver. Spirit is definitely telling you that you need to trust your intuition when it comes to this particular person. Uh-huh. They could be timid for a reason here. See? Yeah, they are. Look up Angel no and Ace of Swords is here, so Spirit is saying I'm speaking truth. Look up angel number 8787 too. Uh, this particular person right here, this was a situation where y'all could have just been friends with benefits, okay? Because this person is saying that I'll hide you as long as I can. So this means that this was not a public relationship, okay? But you all might have mutual friends. Maybe you went to school together or maybe you guys know each other's friends or some shit like that. Because I see trying to turn your friends against you. So this person could be saying some shit. Yeah, there's some bad advice here. Okay. So this person could be saying some shit to, some, to your friends or something. Because I got speech here too. Uh-huh. Yeah. Because see, what it is, is you could have found out this person had a work crush or something. But I see that you guys are very successful. Somebody, this person's trying to block your success here. Okay. So, so this person wants you to be timid so that you won't focus on your tunnel vision, your your path and shit. Because they trying to throw you off your shit. Okay. Okay. Tell me more, spirit. This is someone that you were generous to, too. Yeah, they could have traveled for work. This could have been a real truck driver, like moving city to state, state, you know, like different sceneries. Or you could be thinking about moving. Some of you guys might be applying to become a truck driver or something. You might be going to truck driving school. But yeah, I'm seeing somebody that you need to trust your intuition with. This person moves state to state. They live state to state or they work state to state. They travel. Travel for work, I'm hearing. Yeah, this person's having money issues right now. I'm picking up the energy that they need you. So you could have pulled your energy back here from this person um, because they didn't want anything serious. This is a non-committal type of energy that I'm picking up. This person might move around too much to commit or they could have different situations in different cities if you're picking up what I'm putting down. 
This person could have met somebody. If this is a truck driver, they could have met somebody that they start crushing on here. Okay? Spirit says that that is the truth. This could have been something that was exposed to you and you let that ass go. Now this person holding a grudge. Trying to turn your friends against you or some shit. This is somebody who never really took you out on dates. They come off as somebody who have a lot of money, but they don't like spending it. So they could be like a homebody or some shit. Like when they not working. Yeah. Or a saver, but they don't like to spend. Picking up heavy truck driver energy. Heavy. This person is completely obsessed with you. They hate nothing about you. They actually see you to be marriage material. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the show off is having issues with their money right now. Okay. This person's used to having a lot of money. Used to letting people that they know, know that they got a lot of money some kind of way. And it ain't even got to be the way that they dress. It's just the type of shit that they buy or like actually showing their money type shit. Okay. What else, spirit? Yeah, at, at some point, this person was indecisive about if they wanted to commit to you or not. Now this person realizes that they completely obsessed with you. They don't hate shit about you. You're marriage material. You're the only person that this person wants, and they do not want you to let go. This person stressed the fuck out of you. Like, stress, drama, all that shit. Like, they saying, I'm sorry, please forgive me. Yeah, because you found out some shit about a third party or something. Yeah, somebody was interfering with a connection. Somebody was texting something. Somebody could have went through somebody's phone. Some of y'all could be dealing with a cancer. Yeah, they're very bothered at the fact that... You, and you got homebody here. I'm not bullshitting. So this person was a homebody. It could have been somebody they used to like when you give them massages. Or like when you cook them good meals and shit. Or they like to cook. Like, But I see you guys massaging each other or you massaging them. This person is bothered as hell because it's like they basically watched you walk away because they was on some weird shit, right? But then it's like this person realized that your marriage material, they didn't have their fair share in multiple different states. This is what I'm trying to tell you. So this person travels like I, this, this story specific. Yeah, they didn't have their fair share, but they are obsessed. They are ready to make this commitment. That they never wanted to make before But see what this person is trying to tell you right now Is that the ball is in your court You see what I'm saying Like they know that they done fucked up with you so bad For real for real Like all the little behind the scenes shit that they done did It's crazy Because like this person Y'all had a dope ass bond Like you really love this person This person like they could have loved you But they come off as kind of fake Like they shady for real Like but this person that had a major breakthrough and they do not want to let you go. Like, they can't. I just, oh my gosh. Y'all. I said, didn't I just say that this motherfucker, look, this shit say unsure and decisive, right? <laughs> okay, this shit is in reverse. So this motherfucker is not indecisive no more, okay? But. This person wants you to stop giving up. They want you to stick with them. Like, this is somebody who really had you convinced at some point that they wasn't like nobody else. And to be honest, like, I think that this person is very eccentric. It's something different about this person anyway. Like, but I see that you guys are doing a lot of self-love right now. You're taking care of yourself, treating yourself well, maybe even taking yourself out on fucking dates. Who knows? Yeah, yeah. You gave up on this person even though you loved them. That shit did not make you happy either. That was hard. That was a hard fucking situation right there. But this person that had an eye opener, this is somebody that could make beats or they could be into music, singing, rapping, work at a club, some shit like that. But they also do, I, I'm picking up truck driving shit here. Okay? Um... What else do we have for Sag? Yeah, they realize now. They know exactly who the fuck you are now. They do. 
See, because y'all shining from within. You could have told this person that they was a waste of time or they could have said some shit like that to you. This person is addicted to porn or somebody in this equation is addicted to porn. That could have been like something that was exposed to. And they want to show you, because this is in reverse, they want to show you that they ain't the same, that they changed. Like, they not, they just trying to show you that they ain't going to do the same shit that they did before. This person got some pictures of you, some naked pictures of you, or some dick pictures. Some, you know, you picking up what I'm putting down. Yeah, they do. Even though they saying that the ball is in your court, you could have questioned this person's sexuality. So something could have been off about the way that they are, like, they intimacy or some shit. Like... Like, I'm picking up the energy of somebody who, like, it's this some weird ass shit, but I'm going to say it anyway because I got to because I picked this shit up. But I'm picking up the energy of a, of somebody who, like, yeah, y'all got a bond, y'all good friends, y'all fuck sometimes. Like, they might even spend a night, but this is the type of motherfucker that is fuck you and then sleep on the couch. Like, I don't know, 1111, angel number when I said that. Like, I don't know why the fuck I got that, y'all. But I most definitely had to tell you that because that shit was weird. But you could have questioned this person's sexuality. Somebody could secretly be confused about that part or some shit. Yeah, I promise you they is. This say catfish. Oh man, this person. They could have spent some time in jail or they just weird when it comes to intimacy. Or even commitments. You could have known this person for like five, ten years or some shit, and they probably never had a girlfriend or a boyfriend. They always been single or lonely or some shit. But really, they just like to go from people to person, state to state, like that type of energy. But motherfuckers see that you bossing up right now and you celebrate and you ain't giving a fuck. So this person has got a fake account. They looking at you because. The thought of you, like, moving on and bossing up, right, and keeping tunnel vision, and especially if you're on a spiritual journey, angel number 222, it's hunting the fuck out of this person. Because there's something about you that leveled up so much, that grew up so much, that's just so boss energy compared to where you was in life when you was talking to this person, bro. I'm trying to tell you, like, yeah, something... Some shit level up about you. Like, that's what's going on here. Didn't I just say this shit? Ace of Pentacles. Virgo Taurus Capricorn energy. Yeah, you done got a lot of opportunities. You done manifested a lot. You done had a few new beginnings. A lot of stability that been gained. And you intuitive. You tap the fuck in. Yeah, you don't even talk about all the shit that you got going on. You just got sacred knowledge, ancient wisdom and shit. Like, yeah, this person is lost. Like, what the fuck? It was like a whole transformation with you. Now this person want a, a family with you. Like, they see you being wish fulfillment, divine love. This person want to make babies with you if y'all ain't already got kids. But there is no communication. Like with y'all right now because it's a sense of like shit got out of hand man she got out of hand period so it's like you cut that ass off and this person is really soaking in a shit you cannot make this up you got the tower card here could be a scorpio yeah i told you shit blew the fuck up shit got out of hand bro it was a tragedy tragedy something bad happened like Somebody literally like blew up, you know, but then now they stuck because they don't know how to walk away. They just watch you. They ain't said nothing to you. Like, you know what I'm saying? But they just, they watch you. Like they most definitely watch you. And I'm picking out the energy that this motherfucker like tarot, bruh. Like probably fucking around watching my channel right now. For real, for real. Like... So they be spying more than just spying. They be spying. Like, you feel me? Like, this person can't let you go. You been had they ass blocked. This is the reason why they got a fake account now. They see you turning up to you looking real like you don't give a fuck. And you don't. <laughs> 
Not at all, you don't. Not at all. But that is the reading, my loves. If this resonates or if you enjoyed this reading, thumbs up the video. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Join the family. I love you and I'll see you soon. Peace.